Hello everyone, welcome to MEP Booster. So in this lecture, we'll discuss components of air handling unit. After the end of this lecture, you would be able to understand the components of air handling unit. So let's start. So all of you know that air handling unit is made up of several key components and each playing a vital role in ensuring proper air circulation, conditioning and indoor air quality. So now here I will discuss a detail about each and every component along with an example and its function. Okay, so let's see. So the first component of HU is given here uh, like fan or blower. Okay. So all of you know that the fans or blower moves air through the HU and the building ductwork. Okay. The fan or blower in the HU circulates air throughout the ductwork, pushing it into the condition spaces and returning it to the unit for further treatment. So this is the main purpose of fan or blower. They can be supply fan. They can be supply fan means blowing air into the condition space or return fan, pulling air from the condition space back to the HU. Okay. There are different types of fan like centrifugal fan, which commonly used for large air volumes and high pressures, axial fans, which is used for lower pressure application. Then we have a variable speed fan. Okay. So some AHUs are equipped with variable speed drive to adjust airflow based on demand, increasing energy efficiencies. Okay. So generally in a large office building, uh, the AHUs blowers pushes cooled air into different floors and room while pulling written air back to the unit for reconditioning. Okay. So this is the main purpose of fans and blower. Now the next component which is shown here of AHU is cooling coil. So what is the main purpose here? Uh, the cooling coil cools the air that passes over it. Okay. The main purpose of cooling coil is what? Cooling coil first uh, lowers the temperature of the air by passing it over chilled water or refrigerant filled tube. Okay. Cooling the air before it distributed. The coil typically uses chill water or refrigerant to absorb heat from the air, lowering the air temperature. So we have a different types of cooling coil. Like first we have a chilled water coils. Okay. So this type of coil generally used chill water from a chiller system. Okay. Then we have a direct expansion coil. In short, you can say DX coil. So this type of coil use refrigerant, which changes phase during the cycle. Okay, direct expansion coil uses refrigerant directly but for cooling. Clear? So generally in a shopping mall when you see uh, the HU cooling coil uh, cools the warm air drawn in from outside during summer uh, ensuring that the interior remains at a comfortable environment. Now here the next component of uh, HU is heating coil. So what is this? See, the heating coils warms the air by transferring heat from a hot water supply, steam or electricity. Okay. The main purpose of heating coil is what? Generally the heating coil raise, uh, raises the temperature of the air na? by passing it over hot water or steam coil. Okay. And warming the air before it is circulated. So different types of heating coil is given like hot water coil. So this type of coil generally used hot water from a boiler or heat pump system. Okay. Electric coil is also there which use electricity to directly heat the air. Then we have a steam coils which use steam as a heating medium. Okay. I think you have seen in a hotel uh, during the winter winter month, uh, the HU uses the heating coil to warm the air. Okay, maintaining a comfortable temperature for guest guest uh, in their rooms. This is the main target. 
now let's see the next component here filters what is the use of filter here different types of filters are there in HU so filters generally clean the air by removing dust dirt pollen and other particles before the air is distributed through the building okay the main purpose is what filters generally remove particulates like dust pollen bacteria and other airborne contaminants from the air before it is conditioned and distributed okay uh, generally in a hospitals uh, we are using HEPA filters hmm? HEPA filters are used in the AHU to capture even the smallest particle because HEPA filter is a special type of filter they can remove 99.97 percent of all uh, the dust from the area ensuring clean and sterile air in patient wards and operating room okay so different types of filters are there like panel filters which is the basic filtration back filters is also there if you want to remove the larger surface see higher efficiency larger surface area of this back it can also remove the unwanted particles from the air then we have a special type of filter HEPA filter stand for high efficiency particulate air for a specialized environment like hospital and for clean room application we are using this type of filter okay then we have a MERV rating filters okay filters are rated on a scale from MERV 1 to MERV 16 or higher where higher number indicate better filtration efficiency okay so this is the another component of uh, now the next component is dampers which we are using all of you know the main purpose is what damper generally regulates the airflow na? by opening and uh, closing in response to control signal so generally they control the amount of fresh air return air or exhaust air entering or leaving the system this is the main target same point is given here dampers regulate airflow by opening or closing to control the volume of air passing through different part of the AHU they can be used for fresh air intake here they can control the amount of outside air mixed with recirculated air and they can be used for return air return air damper main purpose is to adjust the flow of return air from the building exhaust damper generally regulates the amount of air exhausted from the system okay so in an office building generally the HU dampers adjust automatically based on carbon dioxide level ensuring that fresh air is introduced when occupancy increases different types of dampers are there for example manual damper which operated manually to control the airflow motorized dampers are also there automatically uh, which can automatically adjust based on system needs okay now the next one is the humidifier which is optional so humidifier is what the humidifier adds moisture to the air to maintain the desired humidity level especially in dry environment or climate okay so if you are designing if you are doing the sizing and selection for AHU so if it is a dry environment or climate so on that time AHU is generally installed with humidifier okay whose main purpose is to add moisture to the air okay see their type is given steam humidifier which generate steam to add humidity then we have a evaporative humidifier which add moisture through evaporation of water in the air stream okay so here one thing remember uh, you have seen in a museum generally the HU humidifier uh, maintain appropriate humidity level to protect artwork and artifacts from drying out or cracking okay next we have a dehumidifier this is also the optional okay uh, the dehumidifier remove excess moisture uh, from the air import 
important in humid climate or where humidity control is critical for example in clean room or data center here their type is written of an integrated into cooling coil where the coil cold surfaces causes moisture in the air to condense uh, when you have seen i think uh, in a coastal hotel the hu's humid dehumidifier keeps indoor humidity level in check to ensure the rooms do not feel damp and uncomfortable for guest okay so these are the things which uh, we have to remember now the next component of hu is heat recovery unit this is also optional okay see uh, a heat recovery unit generally recycle energy from the exhaust air by transferring heat to the incoming fresh air here it is written it recovers energy from the exhaust air to precondition incoming fresh air improving energy efficiency by reducing the load on heating and cooling system here their type is written like plate heat exchanger generally use a static plate to transfer heat between air stream then heat wheels which is also called as a rotary exchanger uses a rotating wheel to transfer heat and moisture between supply and exhaust air okay so this is the main purpose of heat recovery unit and their type so generally in a commercial office building uh, the hu uses a heat recovery unit to capture the heat from the exhaust air in winter preheating the incoming fresh air to reduce the energy needed for heating okay then finally here you can see uh, the next component is coming mixing box so the mixing box generally combined written air from the building and fresh outdoor air before sending it through the rest of the AHU okay so generally in a school building when you have seen the AHU mixing box combined warm written air any commercial building the main uh, the AHU mixing box generally combined the warm written air from classroom with cooler outdoor air in winter reducing the energy needed to heat the air supply okay it allow precise control over the mixture of recirculated and fresh air improving efficiency and air qualities now the next component is the control system what is this actually uh, the control system uh, manage the operation of the AHU including fan speed temperature setting humidity level and air flow rate okay so this is the main purpose so here it is written the control system automates the operation of the AHUs managing fan speed dampers temperature humidity and overall system efficiency so uh, in a smart building when you see in a smart building the HU generally control system automatically adjusts the fan speed and cooling output based on occupancy and external weather condition ensuring optimal indoor comfort while saving energy okay so it is often connected to a building management system for remote control and monitoring the next component is the silencer it is optional okay so silencer generally reduce noise generated by the HU fan and uh, moving air okay silencer is also sometimes called as a sound attenuator which reduce the noise produced by airflow fans and other component this is the main purpose they are important in noise sensitive environment like offices hospitals or theater next is the drain pan okay so let's see uh, the drain pan collect condensation that forms on the cooling coil preventing water from leaking into the unit or the ductwork okay so the main purpose of drain pan is what drain pan is generally collect the condensation na, that form on the cooling coil during the dehumidification process it prevent water from leaking into the ahu or surrounding area 
for example in a humid climate generally what happen the hu drain pan collect the excess water that condenses on the cooling coils preventing water damage in the unit and the building interior okay so this here we have discussed the component of ahus uh, the water is drained away through a piping system to prevent mold growth or system damage okay so now the topics which we have covered in this session we have discussed in detail about the components of air handling unit hope all of you enjoy this session see you in next one